All right, and we're finally back. I don't know why I was going the way I was going. Fenimore kind of, you know, stated, you know, go to your right once you leave the village and then head to 8 o'clock, and there I was kind of heading off, well, just entirely different direction. I don't know why I did it, but I just kind of did. Anyways, now we're at the village of the Marinus. I mean, not the Marinus, the Fairness. Although we could say Marinus, since Shirley is here. <laughs> God, I swear these ho the holy bottles in this game are just annoying. They really should last more than a minute of actual just being on the field because I think that's literally as long as it lasts. Lasts is a minute while you're out on the field, and it's just stupid. Dark bottles will last for a. F for a while. Holy bottles like a minute. Up oh, there it went. Oh. And you'll still get into a battle really often. But anyways, let's head in to the village of the Marin the Fairness, not the Mariness. We've arrived. This is where all the fairness are. Walter. Fenimore, why are you here? I brought Sennel and his friends to see Shirley. You may not pass. Be gone. Why not? I cannot allow a rarinous filth to approach the Marinus. What? What's that supposed to mean? After we fought side by side, how can you be so cold? I bring a letter from the Sovereign of the Holy Rexalian Empire. I seek an audience with Moritz. Follow me. Yeah, you're pretty much never going to find a moment in the game where you actually like Walter. Aside from kind of the part where he helps Shirley and Fenimore early on in the game, every other moment when you talk to him, you just kind of kind of say, Oh, I hate you. You're just a prick. But anyways, let's head into the village. Excuse me. I never knew a place like this existed above the lake. It seems there are still many things we don't know about the legacy. Stop dawdling. Let's go. What's the big hurry? I apologize for Walter's rude behavior today. Not like he's ever polite. Norma, we've had many uninvited guests lately. His position being what it is, he can get a bit on edge. People have come here trying to get at Shirley, haven't they? We merely wish to live in peace. Why do they insist on troubling us? Oh, I apologize. That wasn't directed at you. I'll prepare a response to your letter at once. Please give my regards to Her Excellency. I've sent someone for Shirley. I'm sure she'll be delighted that you've come, Senel. Hmm? 
Ah, I see. I've received a message from Shirley. She's a bit busy now, so she cannot see you today. Oh. Oh, honestly, that girl... She'll be participating in an important ritual soon. She does have to spend time preparing, you know. Ritual? No need to worry. It's just a simple purification ceremony. It's simply a formality so that we can officially grant her the title of Marinus. As I recall, Shirley said that she lacks the powers of the Marinus. What she lacks in power, she makes up for in dignity. She has a fierce determination to help fulfill the expectations of the Fairness. Stella's death may have opened Shirley's eyes to who she really is. I believe Shirley saw the true essence of the Marinus in the noble spirit of sacrifice Stella displayed when she gave her life to protect everyone. In fact, Stella may be the happiest of all about Shirley's growth. I have prepared a room for all of you. Please rest yourselves while I prepare my response. Please make yourselves comfortable. Please, let me take forever to respond while you're all awkwardly staring at me. If you're tired, please rest on this bed. Feel free to use the oven as well. But first, hmm, I wonder why there is a randomly floating, bouncing chest piece here. I oh, don't do that again, controller. Don't. There we go. It's starting to do that little fun tidbit it likes again. <coughs> I've kept it secret until now, but I'm a master of Wonder Baker style baking arts. And why is she telling us this af this all of a sudden? Oh, don't worry about it. See, don't you mean I don't care? It sounds like I'm being made fun of. Because you are. You meanies, now I'm really steamed. You'll pay for that. Bread Rain Alpha, Bread Rain Alpha. <laughs> oh, Namco. Oh, Namco, you're, you're so clever. <clears throat> hey, get off me! I, I'll let you go for now, but next time I really will turn up the heat. Wouldn't be Mimi if she didn't trip. I will rise again. Okay. God, it's really weird trying to voice anybody right now. That's a strange fish. Yeah, good thing I can see what fish you're saying is strange. Hmm, I really should start make baking. The thing I've never really done much in the Tales game, sadly. Not that I don't see it useful, it's just one of those features I sort of end up overlooking a lot. Yeah, I don't think I need to do any... Let's just go to sleep. Uh, was it right here? 
I already kind of forgot which tent I was in. Yep. Save. Never hurts to save. And I really don't care what people say when I save. You gotta be cool and not let anyone see you saving. Pfft, screw that. I'll save on screen. God, I hate that music they have for ends in this game. It's so... Eh. Shirley! Fenimore, why are you here? Didn't you get on the ship? Now's not the time for that. I have something important to talk to you about. Why won't you see your brother? After I went to all the trouble of bringing him here. If you don't meet him now, if you don't talk to him, you two are finished. Is that really what you want? I'm the Marinus. I can't just think about myself. Oh, don't give me that. Fenimore, you're the one who told me to fulfill my responsibility. What made you suddenly decide to become the Marinus? Your power exists to make people happy. Because... I want to make everyone happy. How can you honestly think that you can make others happy when you can't even make yourself happy? Stop making up excuses and go see Senel. You love him, don't you? Senel chose Stella. Ah, so the truth finally comes out. Hey! 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 Fenimore, that hurts! What are you doing that for? Oh, so you're normal after all. Everyone's fawning over you because you're the Marinus, and talking about how noble you are. But you're perfectly normal. You're nothing more than a skinny little girl. So, what are you trying to say? I'm going to tell you what you should do. Throw yourself at Senel. There's no reason to hold back because of Stella. Your sister is dead. You are alive. You have a duty to find happiness. Enough happiness for both you and Stella. A letter came for Senel. It's from Fenimore. What's it say? Please come to the rear courtyard, but come alone. What's that, a love letter? How many ladies you got, anyway? L love letter? Oh, please. I'm sure Fen Fen's just bringing Cheryl to see him. I'll go see what's up. Now let's see. Don't go spying on them. Oh, oh uh... uh... There's no telling what Walter would do to you if he found you engaging in any suspicious behavior. You have a point.
Okay, let's see. What does Shirley want? I mean, Venomore. Shirley, hurry up! Sinnel's waiting for you! I know. Don't worry, you'll do just fine. Uh, really? What's my true name? Blessing. Right, trust me. You're cute. No one can beat you. You're going to be fine. Thanks, Venomore. I'll try my best. Senno. Long time no see. I'm sorry to make you come here like this when you're busy. I heard you weren't feeling well. Are you okay? I'm fine, don't worry. I just have a lot of things to do. I'm a little tired, that's all. Really? Fenimore must have been telling you stories. She always exaggerates things. That's because she worries about you. I know, and I'm grateful to her for that. Sen... Say, surely... What? We probably can't go on living the same way we used to. But still, if anything ever happens, you can always talk to me. This lady Musette once told me, When your sister is in danger, you must run to her immediately, no matter where she is or what stands in your way. That is what older brothers do. Even if our lives change, my feelings won't. Senno, listen. Yeah? There's something I want to tell you. What is it? You'll probably be surprised to hear me say this all of a sudden. But just hear me out. Senno, I... I love... Surely I can't. Why not? Senno, why not? Senno? I have to stay with Stella. Oh. Yeah, of course. Stella was alone all that time. Right. Now it's my turn to work hard. I mean, the reason we're both alive now is because of Stella. I'm going to become the Mariness. A true Mariness. For Stella. Look after her so she can rest in peace. Surely. I bet she's happy. Stella was in love with you the whole time. Did you know that? She was always looking at you from the moment we met. That's... 
You're probably thinking that can't be true, right? But I could tell. Of course, I know why. Who wouldn't have felt like that? I'd better start heading back. Thank you for coming to see me. Take care of yourself. Surely. Welcome back. What's wrong, Seno? Why the long face, Sunny? It's nothing. Coolidge. You two are exactly alike. You're both clumsy and awkward. Sorry. Now you look like you're going to cry. Pathetic. Yeah, well I am pathetic. Now are you done? Just leave me alone, so nobody cares about me, whatever. I know you don't, Fenimore. Why don't you go on back to your home? I can't do that. Do you think I could abandon a friend in your state? We're... Friends? What? Is that a problem? I've never had a friend before. You're kidding. Thank you. I'm so happy. Shirley, you've been lonely this whole time, haven't you? Well, when you're in my position, that's kind of how things work out. So I have to teach you what friends are like. You'll like it. We can talk about silly things and have a good time together. We can talk to each other about love. And... And? When we're sad, we can cry together. Yeah? Could you please be quiet, you inconsiderate? Hey, Walter? To what do we owe this honor? The remnants of Vaklov's forces have been located. Is Stingle with them? I've told you all I know. Wait, why did you tell us that? We're going to launch a preemptive strike. We must eliminate all threats to the Marinus. We'll go with you. Can you lead us there? Senna, are you serious? We can't leave it all to Walter. Yes, Coolidge is right. Well, it's true we can't just ignore them. All right, let's do it. Walter, please. I'll be waiting outside. Get ready to move out. You seem quite eager, Senel. Really? Yes. It's almost as if you want to get away from here as quickly as possible.
Somebody do something about Sleepy over there. Hey, Norma, wake up. Chloe can't swim. Ow, my ear, no pulling, no pulling. Wake up! Ah! Well, that episode went on a lot longer than I had intended. Ugh. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I should have actually ended that off before we went to see Shirley. I wasn't expecting it to be so long. Oh my god, that's a long episode. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So anyways, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you all tomorrow with some more. So until then, see you later, guys.